Even though wildfire season is increasingly unpredictable, power officials say you can predict that those fires are going to cost you money. And that's true even if you live far from the flames. Jake Taylor looks into why in tonight's Eye on Your Money. You may think a wildfire raging on the other side of the state doesn't affect you beyond perhaps some smoke in the skies, but each of those acres burned could have a very real impact on the bills you pay. It's really unprecedented. Rocky Mountain Power is pushing to raise your rates by 30%. The biggest increases Utah has seen in the past equaled as much as $100 million. This is nearly $700 million to give a sense of scale. So it's a really big increase. Among the major reasons for that proposed increase, what wildfire is costing the power company. Those have been, you know, hugely increasing. Uh, just in the last uh, two or three years. Those fire costs have insurance skyrocketing as well as money spent in trying to protect infrastructure. System hardening against wildfires is a significant expense. Also hugely expensive lawsuits, all equaling what the power company argues is a need for increased rates you'll pay. It is pretty shocking and it's directly related to the increased risk of wildfire. Rocky Mountain Power is owned by Pacific Corp. The company has been ordered in court to pay hundreds of millions of dollars to victims who claim the company was negligent in handling wildfires. And the company is currently facing other lawsuits worth more than $30 billion. But the state division tasked with checking these utilities says this justification of fire for increases in what you pay could be overblown and based more on fear than on real damage and real cost. I think some of the, the recent decisions are less to do with frequency and scope of fires than they are a public reaction to them. Rocky Mountain Power says these costs aren't unique to them or to Utah, but that it's happening across the country. These are systemic industry-wide issues. While it could be true elsewhere, Parker says it's a different story in Utah, where the state has stepped in with a recently passed law keeping in check what a power company could be forced to pay when sued, SB 224. Which has some liability protections that limit the scope of liability for the utility. That state public service commission will decide if that 30% power rate increase is approved or not. They're taking testimony through the end of the year and are expected to make a decision by February. Jake Taylor, KUTV, 2 News.